Greetings fellow detectives, Wizard Kitten 774 here bringing you the next video in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew's Secret of the Old Clock. We just learned from one of Josiah's contacts on the ham radio that he gave them uh, code words to say back when they gave a passage from Shakespeare. Hello, Miss Drew. Hi, Mr. Topham. So I wonder if there is a uh, book in here or like a script or something with a play. Now what? Could I see that copy of A Midsummer Night's Dream you have there? Why? Well, you said it was Josiah's favorite play. I'd just like to take a look at it. It's a very old copy. I'd rather it not be handled unnecessarily, lest it fall completely apart. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but request denied. Do you mind if I look around some more? Be my guest. Hmm. Well, sounds like that's the copy we need. There is one other way to get in here without Richard Topham knowing, so let's go back to the Lilac Inn. Since we found a secret passageway in the last video, we should be able to use that to get into his house. Maybe sneak a peek at the play. Here we go. Let's crawl down here. Hopefully Jane doesn't notice what we're doing. She probably just heard a bunch of clunking in the parlor and then she goes in to see what's going on and Nancy's just gone. She'd be like, what on earth? Did Nancy crawl through the window? Did she, is she hiding? Is she playing hide and seek? What's she doing? Guess I'd better not leave the lights on. I don't hear anybody. Now would be a good time for me to sneak inside and have a quick look at that Shakespeare book. Yeah, it would. Yuri. Quiet, Yuri. Oh, there's your mouse. We have to give Yuri his Yuri, mouse. Yuri, be quiet. You're disturbing us. If he keeps meowing, he'll alert Richard Topham to our presence. Oh. Hi, cutie. Here, take your mouse. It's okay. It's okay, little buddy. Yes, you Clear with your, your mind of all thoughts. Think about nothing save back spoon. Josiah must have circled these quotes, but why? Pyramus, thou speakest aright, I am that merry wanderer of the night. Okay, so we should write down each of these lines that he circled. Something tells me I better write down all the stuff that's circled here in my journal. Flute. Shall we their fond pageant see? Lord, what fools these mortals be. Thisbe, if we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended, that you have slumbered here while these visions did appear. Okay. Yeah, so we should write all those down. Is there anything else we can snoop in? Mr. Yes, Mrs. Jackman. Is it okay if you do? Yes, it's okay if you do. There's that they got the magnificent poster, the Harry Houdini from the final scene. Um, it's a picture of Josiah, I'm guessing. Uh, what else? Can we look at the calendar? <laughs> Catch the fish. Meet with break. Jay Archer at 9:30 a.m. about money. That's today. So he met with Jim Archer this morning regarding money. Hmm. Interesting. It's kind of a cool calendar. Either one, Mrs. Deckman. Just concentrate. Mr. Yes, Mrs. Deckman. Sounds like he's doing a session. Or pull it. Push it. You're trying to push it, all right? I'd rather try to pull it. All right then. Try to pull it. I'm good at pulling it. Mrs. Deckman. Just concentrate. What does it mean if I'm starting to get a headache? It means you're doing too much talking and not enough concentrating. This is hard, Mr. Topham. <laughs> you can do it, Mrs. Deckman. Just keep looking down that tube at that one spot. Pretend your thoughts are a hurricane whirling around that one spot, grabbing it, dragging it towards you. Oh! Mrs. Deckman, please! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Topham, I saw it. I moved the spoon. I really did. And you very nearly deafened me in the process. Now, please calm down. But I 
did it! I finally did it! You thought me too, didn't you? Yes, of course, I most certainly did. Congratulations. This is wonderful! I couldn't have done it without you, Mr. Topham. You're a genius. Yes, well, be that as it may, this is just the beginning, Mrs. Deckman. Now that you've seen the power lying fallow within your brain, it's your duty to nurture it. In fact, I believe it's time for you to begin daily training sessions. Oh, Mr. Topham, do you really think so? Indeed I do. <laughs> this will, of course, necessitate an increase in your tuition. But an I'm increase sure once in your, your tuition. What a charlatan. I'm He's... Going to right home and calm. Oh, cheapers, I better get out of here. Quick. He is such a charlatan. He's just tricking people out of their money, tricking them into believing they have psychic powers. This will of course necessitate an increase in your tuition. How dare he? Oops. All right. Yes, I better not leave the lights on. So now, let's crawl out of our seat here. Maybe we'll check in with Jane quick. What's cooking? Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Nothing's cooking. Is Emily back? We could probably check in with Emily. Nope. Okay. Well, we have job to do anyway. Emily must still be running errands. Da dee da dee da. Walk along the path. I do love this pretty path. It's very, very nice. Go to the shed. Ooh, just heard a plane. Okay, we have to get the stairs down again. Here we go. All our mirrors are still lined up. I'm not sure how it keeps retracting if it's on a cord, but. Voila. All right. So now let's contact Flute again. We were at 7.025. Hello? Flute? Are you there? Flute here. Are you Nancy Drew? Yes, it's me. And I think I know the Shakespeare passage that Puck wanted you to listen for. Let's hear it. All right, so flutes was this one. Thou speakest aright. I am that merry wanderer of the night. Oops. I'm afraid that's not it. Whoops. Better luck next Shoot. time. Shoot. <laughs> Pick the wrong one. Pick the wrong one. Uh, never mind. I picked the one for pure mess. I was looking at my notes wrong. Hello. Can anyone hear me? Speak to me. Hello. Flute here. Hello, Nancy Drew. I know that Shakespeare passage really. Let's hear it. Okay, so his is, Shall we their fond pageant see? Shall we their fond pageant see? Lord, what fools these mortals be. That's it. Here, let me check my logbook for the response. Uh, now I'm supposed to say, Leave by road when the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about. Leave by road when the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about? Those were Puck's exact words. Well... Hope I've been of some help. Over and out. Okay, so write down exactly what they say. So next, let's contact Pyramus, and he's at, uh, 057. You seriously have to go all the way around to get to seven. We're gonna just turn it the other way. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? This is Pyramus. Who are you? My name's Nancy Drew. Does somebody named Puck usually call you on this frequency? Somebody named Puck used to. Apparently he found something better to do. Haven't talked to him in months. Well, that's because he passed away not too long ago. Oh. Well, that's a good excuse, I guess. How'd you know he called me Pyramus? I'm a friend of a friend of his. I found your name and radio frequency in his journal. So why are you talking to me? Did Josiah, I mean Puck, ever ask you to tell him something whenever he read a certain passage from Shakespeare? 
whenever he rattled off this Shakespeare quote, I was supposed to rattle off this stupid saying he gave me. How did you know about that? Long story. But if I were to rattle off the quote, there's no reason why you can't tell me the stupid saying, right? Well, come to think of it, he never said the quote had to come from him. So, yeah, I guess I could tell you. Okay, so we're talking to Pyramus, so he needs, Thou speakest aright. Thou speakest aright. I am that merry wanderer of the night. How'd you know? Long story. What did he tell you to say in response? Wait a minute. I had to write it down. Here. You're gonna love this. A barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in a dangerous neighborhood. A barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in a dangerous neighborhood. I told you it was stupid. I really appreciate your help. Just out of curiosity, what kind of car did Puck drive, do you know? I don't think he had a car. And he tried to tell me he was rich. Over and out. <laughs> Alright, and last one is Thisbe, and she's at 050. Thisbe, are you there? Hello? I'm Thisbe, but only Puck calls me that. Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm afraid I have some bad news about... Puck. Oh dear, they closed the play he was starring in, didn't they? That's why I haven't heard from him. He's too far down in the dumps. Oh, I was afraid it was something like that. Actually, you haven't heard from him because he passed away several months ago. Oh my, that's worse, isn't it? And after all that rigmarole he went through, making sure I knew my line and understood my cue? Your cue? Yes, you see, Puck, or whatever his real name is, or was, Puck wanted to share his love of acting with me, so he gave me a line to say, a very curious line, I might add, and told me to repeat it only after I heard my cue, a passage written by Mr. William Shakespeare. So if I cue you with a passage, you'll respond with the line he gave you to say? Immediately. I know it by heart, you see. Here it goes. Okay, so Thisbe gets, if we shadows have offended. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. <clears throat> the authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way. The authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way? That's what I was to say. Although my delivery was much better when Puck was coaching me. And now, as Puck was fond of saying, I bid you adieu. Over and out. Okay. So now we have all of the sayings. So now what we need to do, flute. We need to basically put in the passwords on this giant clock oven thing. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so Flute told us his three key words were leave, the owner is in, and thieves about. And these are those, like, um, the hobo sign language, which we read in the paper in the parlor of the Lilac Inn. And I have all of the pictures written down. So Flute's is leave, and then uh, owner is in, thieves about. Owner is in, and thieves about. Okay, and Thisbe was authorities alert, bad water, do not go this way. So, authorities alert, uh, bad water, and do not go this way. Pyramus was barking dog, hold tongue, dangerous neighborhood. So, barking dog, hold tongue, Dangerous Neighborhood. Where's that one? This one. Okay, and then the last one was Bottom, which is the one that he wrote in the note to Gloria, which was Kind Lady, Good Water, Sky's the Limit. Kind Lady, Good Water, Sky's the Limit. Oh, got another game? 
Your goal is to reach the end of the path and to land exactly on the last spot on the board. No going over. Each card can only be used once. You do not need to use all the cards. To take a shortcut, you must be on a spot with a picture on it and use the same picture to take the pathway. Good luck. Oh, it's like Candyland. Okay, um, let's see. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hmm. That'd be a good use of the two. Uh, let's see. Let's do ten. And then five. And then two to get a little jump ahead. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so we could do four or one. Hmm. Or we could do the sun, which would be seven. Yeah, that didn't work. Uh, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drat. Um, I'm gonna reset. I think we messed up. So let's do. We need to get all the way over here. So let's do maybe nine and six. And then we'll do two. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do five. And then we can do one. And let's see. We need to get to the rain. And then it's one, two, three, four. So we should save. If we did that, one, two, three, four, we wouldn't be able to get to the end. What do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Do we have any combinations that can get us to 21? We have 10, 18, and 3. So yeah, we can totally do that. So let's do 10. And then 8. And 3. Sweet! Oh! Oh goodness. Burning wow. hole in the roof, and it's jumping like crazy. Bloop. I have to go mini golfing again. A golf ball, no doubt meant to be used on that golf course of Josiah's. But why? I hate the golf. <laughs> Take this to Tiny Town, and for oodles of fun, use it there to hit a hole in one. Okay, I think that'll be the first thing we do in our next video. Thanks for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.